of our top 10 industrial sectors, nine of them show positive momentum. Not only are they up, but they're up significantly. And three of those sectors are up over 30%. Now, this is in an industry where if you're up 3 to 5%, that's kind of significant. Three are up over 30, primary metals, transportation, and pipelines. I, I was watching your program earlier this morning. You announced that Ford had a blowout quarter. Well, the numbers that we're showing would be consistent with that. So the, the other thing is this is continuing. It isn't a past event. When I look at economic development and when I look at the amount of capital invested that we're seeing from our customers, year-over-year -year investment is up 85 percent versus last year, but up 65 percent over pre-pandemic levels. Uh, job creation up 20-something percent. So these numbers are pretty startling on the industrial side. Commercial is up as well, not as significant. Overall, we're seeing uh, retail sales up 6%, which is pretty much unheard of in our industry. So I'm not even looking at a Southern Company earnings report as a Southern Company earnings report. This is almost a government, this is almost an economic indicator from, from the government. So we can, we can definitely make some uh, determinations about, about the economy itself talking to you, which is good. because well, well, Joe, as a matter of fact, yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, I think that's why I had such a long association with the Fed, you know, six years here in Atlanta, three years as chair, and then I was chair of the conference of chairs at the Big Fed. Electricity sales is a terrific indicator of where the economy is going. So well, yesterday we had Ken Langone on, and he's worried about inflation because he, he says we are pouring gasoline on a white-hot economy, and it's already tough to get people, and it's going to get tougher, and you don't get... Once you give someone a raise, usually you don't take it back. And it, it, it's, he, he questions the transitory nature of things. The T, T word is uh, it, we hear every day about 100 times. So that, that's the latest buzzword. Do you think it's, it's here to stay, an inflationary environment that could be troublesome? Yeah, you know, I'm a great friend of Jay Powell, and I think he's so well-informed about these things. I tend to trust his judgment. Here's what I would watch out for, and that is things like uh, legislation moving through Congress. Okay, infrastructure bill. We think that's a great thing. I'm also on the board of Vulcan Materials. They build roads and bridges and a variety of other things. Look, America needs to revitalize its infrastructure, no question about it. So I think money dedicated to that makes sense. But if we attach everybody's Christmas wish list to something like infrastructure development, then I think we're doing America a disservice. We have to be very responsible about the money we're spending and limit it to the things that actually will produce a multiplier effect in the economy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.